Hi, and welcome to Basement Projects. When I built my homemade belt sander, I ordered this material to machine the rollers. The problem is, this is some kind of alloy that I didn't order. This is hard to machine and eats away my high speed tooling. So I just put one bearing next to each other to create a roller for my belt sander. But after some time, this wasn't working anymore and I think you can see it in the pictures. The seals on those bearings aren't completely dust proof, so a lot of dust got into the bearings, mixed with the grease and made the bearing fail. But now I got carbide tooling and completely sealed bearings. So let's machine these rollers. Now you see what I meant with hard to machine. The machine wasn't running that fast, but I stopped it, lowered the RPM and continued. For the through hole that's enough because I just need some clearance for the shaft. I wanted a press fit for the roller bearing and this hit spot on. The rollers need a convex shape, so I marked the middle of the rolls and the area to where the taper goes. The angle I'm aiming for is about 1 degree. Here you can see why I hate this material. The chip won't break and I keep getting these long strings.
This aluminum rod gets machined into spacers. They will sit inside the rollers and prevent the ball bearings from getting any axial pressure. I'm using my DRO and my parting blade to mark the cutting areas. Each spacer needs to be at a specific length and writing it down helps me to put the right spacer into the right roller. After parting them off with a hacksaw, I'm just machining the ends to get a nicer finish. The inside diameter of this pipe is too small, so a boring bar will help me to get it to the right dimension. Pressing the bearings in was kind of a hassle, one of the reasons I want a hydraulic press in my workshop. You might wonder about the color of the rollers. I just painted them with a heat resistant coating. Under a strong light, the paint looks kind of semi transparent, but believe me, they are completely black. The outer bearing gets glued into place to prevent any axial pressure on the roller bearings. Time for a test run. Looking good so far. That's it for this video. Bye and thanks for watching.